Welcome back to the John Trading Channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a price prediction for Terra Luna. Can Terra Luna make a 50x in 2023? Find out in this video. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment if you're enjoying these daily trading videos. To begin, let's go over the price action that's already happened on Terra Luna because this is really gonna help us actually predict future prices that's coming up in 2023. So we can see that we're using the Binance listing on Terra Luna. We initially had a little bit of a downturn, which definitely can be expected when we're listing on multiple, multiple exchanges. People are getting out of their liquidity. But look, we had this massive pump to the upside. We then use this exponential moving average as a support level before we had that major pump to the upside. So from down here, we had over a 1000% gain on Terra Luna initially. And I think that we can have very similar levels, especially in 2023. So back in this area, we did have a form of a symmetrical triangle where we were making a bit of a symmetrical triangle through here. And you would know that what happens when we get this major breakout from a symmetrical triangle, I'm always teaching that this apex level is very, very common to come back for a retail and you can see that where the price of where the price of Terra Luna is right now is look is very close to this apex retest level so we've come back we've retested this apex level and I'm expecting from here that we're going to have massive bullish momentum to the upside but first let's see that the price after we had that major pump to the upside we definitely began to have that sell off but this sell off was just the crypto market in general selling off once bitcoin ethereum and the biggest players are selling off well every single altcoin has to sell off that is just how it works. You're never going to see Bitcoin and Ethereum diving while 50 other cryptocurrencies are climbing to the moon, especially in that liquidity crisis that we had, especially with FTX and all that other crap. But let's now go over the price. You can see that what happened is we initially broke below this exponential moving average and we're using it as a resistance level. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Then we did have a bit of a breakup, but look what's happening in recent price. We were using this as resistance. Resistance level, resistance level, resistance level, breaking down, using it as resistance, using it as resistance. But you can see this recent price action beginning to make that symmetrical triangle, looking for these major breaks to the upside. But when we do break to the upside, what key levels can we look at to potentially be selling back in these areas? But when we get that major upside, what are going to be the price targets for 2023? Because I think in 2023, we can definitely have a major bull run for Terra Luna. So let's go over those prices now. The first thing that I do is start from the top of the price and bring down a Fibonacci retracement tool because now it's able to show me on the chart this is a 0.38 retracement. This is a 50% level. This is the 0.618 level. And this is that one-to-one -one move back to the highs. So if we were to make a move back to the highs from this exact price right now, that's over a 500% gain. Making a 5x on your money, especially in 2023, is going to be absolutely fantastic. But let's actually find some exact price targets then we can find. So right through here, we can see that the 0.382 level doesn't line up quite yet with some support levels. The first level that I'm really looking at would actually be in this level here. You can see that there is initially a lot of support. And what happens when support gets broken through, it's going to flip to a resistance level. That's what happens when a resistance level gets broken through, price will come back use it as support, but then before rocketing again to the upside. So what we are going to see is when we do come into this area in price, we are going to have some small sell targets. The reason being is there has been people on Terra Luna right now that have said bought right on this bar right here, and they've been holding for this major downturn. So when price comes back, they're finally going to see their portfolio is not down. It's finally break even, and they're going to exit out of some of their trades. So if people have bought up here, how do they get out of their trade? If you've bought, you need to sell to get out of your trade. So not only we're we gonna have old entrants that need to get out of their trade in this level, we're also gonna have new entrants looking for that short level because this is that support level gets broken. It's going to act as a bit of a resistance level, but I don't think it's gonna act as a major, major, major resistance level, but you will see some short-term selling in that area because as I said, people are gonna be exiting out of their positions that have been holding. So you're gonna have old people exiting, then you potentially have new traders entering the market in that short position. So you're going to have that double momentum play to the downside because people know that this area through here initially was support, 
broken through, it will act as a resistance level. But as I said, I don't think it's going to act as that major resistance level. So just from this point up here, this would be one of the first targets. And that's a 40% gain on Terra Luna. So let's mark this up as target level one. So this is going to be target one for Terra Luna and over a 40% gain. As soon as you add just a small amount of leverage, you can make hundreds of percent just on that trade. And this has a high probability of happening just in 2023. But I don't think this is going to be the highest level. I think we do have even higher potential from there. So let's go over the next price target. The next level that I'm actually looking at is through this point here. You can see initially we did have a lot of support, but what happens when this support level gets broken? It then acts as a resistance level before breaking down. Resistance level, resistance level, resistance level. So we will have initial resistance at this level. Again, there were buyers in the market that actually bought right in this area here, and they've been holding for this entire downturn. So when prices reaches finally back at their level and they're able to get out, you're going to see that this is going to be a bit of a resistance and there is going to be, again, a short-term price decrease from this level. We've had this support, support, it then flipped to a resistance level. So there will be a lot of traders in this area right here actually looking to get out of their old trades and potentially enter into new trades. So from that price target right in there, that's over a 120% gain on your trade. And I do think that has a high probability of again happening in 2023. So when I'm looking at the chart, I'm looking at these major support and resistance levels before we then break up to the upside completely through the old high. I definitely think Terra Luna has some big potential to break above this old high and make a lot higher prices. But along the way of finally graduating all the way up, we are going to see a small amount of sellers. Reason being is from the top to the bottom of the price, we were down 86%. Again, some traders were entering back here in this market and are holding right now in their portfolio and they're down 86%. So you can only expect at least a small amount of resistance in a lot of these levels. Now, let's look over at this price again and see what, what this lines up with. You can see that there's another major support level in this area. We had this support level, had this support level, we had this support level, and then look what happens. We broke down below the support. When support gets broken, what happens? It flips to a resistance. Price came back and then had that major breakdown. So we need to be looking at these levels and how they're trading. So this perfectly lines up with the 382 for the Fibonacci level. So not only we've got support, 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 that broke down acted as resistance, this also perfectly lines up with the 382 of the Fibonacci level. So we've now got two confluences saying that this area could have a small amount of resistance. So this is going to be target three acting as support initially, flipping to resistance, and then also hitting that 382 level on the Fibonacci. Now, looking at this target three level from the price we're at currently right now, that's over a 200% gain, 206% on this trade. So we've got a 50% gain, 120% gain, and a 200% gain potential for Terra Luna at minimum in 2023. I do think this has a higher probability. Nothing is 100% in trading, but we got to look at probabilities and what is a high probability play, especially if Bitcoin starts to move into that next bull market. This has a high probability of holding as a really strong target level, but I don't think it's just over just yet. We do have some more target levels to look at. Next, if we scroll through and actually look at the 0.5 level, which is this green line on the Fibonacci. We did initially have a little bit of support through this area and look what happened. We broke through the support, came back and retested it as a resistance level before we then continued down even further. So you can see how these supports Flipping as resistance, as much as they seem simple, they're absolutely crucial in the market. So not only have we got support flipping to resistance, it lines up perfectly with the 0.5 level on the Fibonacci. So we've got confluence zones telling us that this is a good area to have our next target. So from current price, where we're at right now, going to target four, that's a 280% gain on that trade. So we're having some really solid targets, especially when you can add just a small amount of leverage, but keep your risk to reward ratio really, really good, then that's a really solid trade. And especially if Bitcoin begins to push into that bull market, that can easily happen in 2023, but we need to be watching the probabilities. My final price target, as you can see, scrolling through here, would not actually line up with the 0.61a because we did have a little bit of a breakdown, but it wasn't really that strong retest. The strong retest really happened where support flipped to resistance at the 0.5 level. But the next target would be these old highs from the lows at where we're at. So if we look at the price right now and we were to get a price target all the way up, 
can see that that's over a 500% gain on Terra Luna if we can make it back to the all-time highs. Now, I don't think that the all-time highs will get broken through without also having that solid breakthrough in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a lot of those major cap coins. This is a really solid target of over 550%. But this could potentially push into 2024 as these targets begin to get hit. Getting target one coming up, we will have that small amount of resistance, which might last a week or two. Then pushing up to target two, we'll have a bit of resistance that might even last a month. Then pushing up to target three and target four, I think target four is going to be the stronger target in this area as there's both in lining up quite close to each other. There was that support flipping to resistance, which is a good level to at least be looking to get out. And these targets up to target four is probably the level because we're already nearly halfway through the year. So once we reach, we need to have a bit of a retest, come even higher, have a bit of a retest coming down. So I think target five would be the retest of the old highs. But as I said, I don't expect it always just to be happening in 2023. I think it could then push into 2024. So I do think that this target five could be pushed into 2024 only because we're already halfway through the year and you do need price to slowly evaluate before it then rockets to the upside. But knowing Terra Luna has some really solid potential behind it, these are some really strong targets in the market that we can actually looking at. You're always looking at support, support, support gets flipped. Once it gets broken through, it's going to act as resistance. I guarantee you once we come up to this target one, we're going to have some type of small rejection off that area. Because as I said, there's been people that are bought up here that are down 50 and 60% on their trade. And they're thinking that, oh no, I just need to get out break even. That's unfortunate. And they'll get out. And knowing that this is a support breaking to resistance. And we've also had this support breaking down as resistance. And you can just see it's confirmed coming back into this support area, but it acted as resistance before we broke down. So this is some solid targets, target two, but I think target three and target four is really where I'm looking for Terra Luna because then it can even push further once it breaks this all-time high. Let's use a Fibonacci extension to figure out some prices that it can make too. If we use a trend-based Fibonacci tool, we grab it from the bottom of the trend all the way to the top of the trend and then we drag it down to where this low has been. I do think this is a solid target to be holding as the low and you can see that where it lines up, 382, 0.5618, old high and look, if we look at this 1618 level, which is what I like to call the golden zone, if we're at this price right here, all the way up, that's over a 1000% gain. So a 10X gain on your potential trade. So this is the final target that I have for Terra Luna. So target, target six would be right in this golden area, going from high, from low to high, down to the low, this target six would be a really solid trade, making over a thousand percent on this particular trade and using some trend-based Fibonacci's. But you can see some more extending even higher. Got the 2618, 3618 and 432. So going from here all the way to the top, that's over a 26x on Terra Luna, which these numbers definitely hold up as Fibonacci is definitely always throughout the market. So you can see that we have some really strong targets for Terra Luna. If we're able to get above this target three, target four, target five, target six, that's when we're really going to see this level. Once we get this break of this high, which I don't expect this high to be too much of a resistance level because there's not that much support, which then flip to a resistance. We're going to see this break above to target six and potentially even breaking to these even higher levels. So at a minimum, this on Terra Luna really looks like a really strong, at least 60% gain. Then we have in that 120 200 plus looking up to that 1000% gain on Terra Luna. So if you've really enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment if you're enjoying these daily trading videos as I'm going to release a lot of price targets along the way and you really don't want to miss out. That's all I have for you in today's video. I hope you've enjoyed.